What's up? How are you guys today? I have a few new things I've been incorporating into my diet from the grocery store. So I figured I would show you. As most of you know, I'm following a liver detox diet, partially because of my eight years on carnivore, partially because I took Accutane when I was younger. Point is, we have a very restrictive diet and there's only so many foods I can have. So it is nice when I do find something that I deem as minimally inflammatory, especially to add variety. There are other groups of people that have been following this diet for long periods of time that have just been doing like beef and rice or beef and beans, which, you know, we've spoken about issues with that. But, uh, you know, it's nice when you can kind of immerse yourself and understand different nutritional and culinary components of foods to make the diet easier to follow. So the bagels are something I've been doing kind of every day with some butter from Frankie's Strange Meat, but this other stuff is more like in a pinch as it's non-perishable. And we'll start with those bagels. So uh, you guys probably heard me complaining that bread alone isn't in Whole Foods anymore, but there's like a market near me uh, called the Quisios, these Chichios or something that does carry it. And they also had bagels. And bread alone is like the only brand I've ever seen that only uses like flour, water, and salt. So it's really minimal ingredient. Sometimes for the bagels, they add a few more things, liquid malt, sugar, wheat gluten. So everything's still organic. The brand that I was having before I found these in that market was from Whole Foods. This is still good. And what I mean by good is there's no vegetable seed oils, which are highly inflammatory and all the ingredients are organic and they use fresh milled flour in their bagels and they are pretty tasty. Whole wheat flour, wheat flour, cultured wheat flour, wheat gluten, wheat enzymes, sea salt yeast, organic honey, barley malt. So from an ingredient perspective, both of these bagels are kind of similar. They're both excellent. They're both super, super healthy. Uh, the main difference is that these are like more bagely and the bread alone ones have a more cake-like texture, but they did taste a little bit fresher. So both of these for breakfast are nice. You just wake up in the morning, toast them, put a little bit of butter, honey, jam, or whatever you want on them. And you have a fast, minimally inflammatory breakfast. Uh, it's good for you know people that aren't that hungry in the morning like me and just want to get uh, their digestion going, stimulate some liver detox. Now, I was having some pretty bad luck with, uh, with the apples. Uh, that I normally get, like the organic honey crisp apples. Sometimes they're not ripe, they're kind of acidic, sour, they don't taste too good. And I was thinking about canned fruit, and I figured, well, hey, they have to have some organic canned fruit, right? And I did find some. The downside of this is obviously that it's in a can, you know, aluminum, pollutants, that type of stuff. So it's not something you'd really want to eat every day or at least throughout the year. Like maybe in the winter months, um, you can have this until the fruit comes back in season. That's what I would use this for. Uh, I tried it and it tastes better than a bad fruit, but it's not as good as a really good fruit. So like these pear halves in pear juice and these pineapple slices and pineapple juice, there's no added sugar or salt or anything. So it doesn't like increase the palatability. Uh, the pears were okay. The pineapples were pretty good, but I, I try not to eat pineapple too much. The, uh, the enzymes in the pineapples can be a little hard on the liver. So it's not a fruit I would do every day. Uh, so like if you get a bunch of apples or some fruit that you don't like too much like it was out of season and they still sold it in the grocery store then these are a pretty safe backup plan it's nice to have a few of these in your pantry um, and especially the the juices so as you guys could see there's you know a few different brands here that make this product and and the canned fruit wasn't that expensive i think it was like uh two to four dollars a can depending on what it was but these glass bottle juices are very expensive. They used to be seven or eight dollars each, and they actually bumped the price up to 10, so I stopped buying them, but they will put them on sale occasionally. And the, the issue with juice is that it can kind of fuel candida growth really rapidly and give you diarrhea and poor digestion. So, you know, sometimes when I feel good and I'm like hungry and I'm kind of craving sugar, I'll have some of this with one or two of my meals but it's important not to overdo it just to make sure your digestion stays smooth. Uh, these are just organic juices pasteurized in glass. So yeah, they're not raw, but it's basically the only acceptable juice that I would drink from the supermarket. We have the apple here and we have the pineapple. You know, when they do the apples, they keep the peels on and 
again the pineapple has the enzyme so they're not quite as good as like an organically peeled apple that's fresh you know by any means they're not as good as that but they're still passable and it's okay to have you know a few times a week and uh, you guys know we always go for organic because when there's pollutants pesticides and chemicals in the food inhibits your liver function you don't feel good the toxins accumulate and uh, you can't really heal and recover so the priority is to go organic with everything make sure we're not choosing foods that are too high in anti-nutrients and if we can take it a step further we eliminate everything like make sure the water is high quality no fluoride and chlorine all that stuff uh, so that's really it guys i got these at my local market maybe i'll put uh, the canned fruit and stuff on my Amazon shop. Uh, we've also been doing a few kind of new things from Frankie's Strange Meat. We got in some Iberico pork tenderloin that I've been eating and I, we also ground it up. It's expensive, but I've been enjoying that in my diet. And uh, the roast beef for lunch as usual, of course. And we might do a new prime rib. So guys, definitely check out Frankie's Strange Meat, Frankie's Strange Foods. There's probably a few things you can incorporate to add some variety into your diet in addition to Maybe any new and interesting products that you see from your local grocery store. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video. Uh, I kind of wanted to do a day of eating, but maybe we'll just do it tomorrow or next week. I didn't have the energy. Um, but we'll talk about that another time. So you guys know that you can go to frank stefancom to see all of those interesting businesses. And as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And we'll see you guys soon. Oh, my left knee needs some uh, pineapple enzymes, that's for sure.